dear viewers, we're glad you could join us for this special video today. Thanks so much for being here. Do you love vehicles as much as we do? Yeah? Awesome! Sometimes man creates the most ingenious things, and using the brilliance of mathematical equations and breaking ground in engineering and physics sciences, well, we get to witness the most spectacular new and wonderful vehicular marvels, including the technology that comes with them. And so for this wicked video, we're going to give you insight and some awesome footage of some of the best we found. The countdown will bring us six of these, and so without any more holdups, let's get straight into it now. Number six. The number six spot in our countdown goes to this amazing vehicle for its ingenuity and usefulness. The M104 Wolverine Heavy Assault Bridge is an armored military engineering vehicle. Created by General Dynamics Land Systems, it was actually designed to provide deployable bridge capability for units engaged in military operations. In fact, the Wolverine is essentially an M1A2 SEP tank with Laguan bridge layering gear instead of a turret. So, it has virtually all of the parent vehicle's speed, mobility, survivability, and automotive components too. This commonality was a key design factor in the Wolverine's development. The Wolverine also features an advanced communications package well designed to keep it in contact with local field commanders. However, the vehicle itself is unarmed in its capability. The Wolverine is operated by just two crewmen who sit within the hull. Both crewmen have proper access to the bridge and controls, while the bridge is carried in two sections which are uniquely stacked above the hull. Once a bridging site is chosen, it's then that the vehicle securely anchors itself in place with a spade. The two sections of the bridge are joined together, and then the entire bridge is extended across the obstacle and dropped into its rightful place. The crewmen have the ability to make only minor corrections during launch. Once operations are complete, the Wolverine drives across the bridge and retrieves it from the other side simply by reversing the process. The bridge can be launched in under 5 minutes or retrieved in less than 10 minutes, and this occurs without the crewmen ever leaving the safety of their vehicle. Once launched, the 85-foot Laguan Bridge can support a 70-ton vehicle moving at 10 miles per hour. The Wolverine allows the heaviest of vehicles to cross craters, ditches, and even damaged bridges at combat speed. <laughs> wow. Number 5. Our number 5 spot goes to this amazing vehicle. And the MIM-104 Patriot is a surface-to-air missile, or SAM system. The best of its kind used by the United States Army and several other allied nations. It is manufactured by the U.S. defense contractor Raytheon and derives its name from the radar component of the weapon system. The AN slash MPQ-53 at the heart of the system is known as the Phased Array Tracking Radar to Intercept on Target, which is short for Patriot. The Patriot system replaced the Nike Hercules system as the Army's primary high to medium air defense HIMAD system and replaced the MIM-23 Hawk system as the Army's medium tactical air defense system. In addition to these roles, Patriot has been given the function of the U.S. Army's anti-ballistic missile or ABM system, which is now the Patriot's primary function. The system is expected to stay fielded until at least 2040. Patriot also uses an advanced aerial interceptor missile and high-performance radar systems. Patriot was developed at Redstone Arsenal in Huntsville, Alabama, which had previously developed the Safeguard ABM system and its component Spartan and hypersonic speed sprint missiles. Patriot systems have been sold to the Netherlands, Poland, Germany, Egypt, Japan, Israel, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Republic of China, Taiwan, Greece, Spain, United Arab Emirates, Qatar, and Romania. South Korea purchased several second-hand Patriot systems from Germany after North Korea test-launched ballistic missiles to the Sea of Japan and proceeded with underground nuclear testing in 2006. And Jordan also purchased several second-hand Patriot systems from Germany as well. These vehicles have been used in the Persian Gulf War, the Iraq War, the 2014 conflict between Israel and Gaza, the Syrian Civil War, the Yemeni Civil War, and the Saudi Arabian conflicts up to now. Number 4. At spot number 4, we've got this awesome vehicle. It's the latest technology hovercraft. In fact, California-based tech company Aerofex has developed the Aero-X hovercraft that is slated to undergo flight tests which hit the market in the U.S. in 2017. They are expected to go for about U.S. dollars 85000 the Aero X hovercraft rides like a motorcycle and allows two riders with a combined weight of 310 pounds to ride in tandem. After completing a vertical takeoff, riders can cruise at speeds up to 45 miles per hour up to 10 feet off the ground. The rotary engine uses standard automotive gasoline and runs for about 1.25 hours per tank. That might seem a bit low, but gas mileage was the trade-off for carbon fiber rotors that are easier to control and much cheaper than traditional aircraft rotors. The Aero X will not require a pilot's license, although individual states may require certification, similar to the process required for boats and other off-highway vehicles like quads, dune buggies, or snowmobiles. As the Aero X is unique in that it needs to be controlled in its three dimensions, there is a bit of an adjustment period for the pilot to fully handle the vehicle with full confidence. 
As wicked as this machine sounds, it does have very practical purposes. It could even be used well by search and rescue crews, border patrols, and first responders. Number 3. At our number 3 spot, we have this awesome vehicle, and yes, it's military. The Oshkosh MATV is a Mine Resistant Ambush Protected, or MRAP, vehicle. Developed by the Oshkosh Corporation for the MRAP All-Terrain Vehicle MATV, program. Intended to replace the M1114 HMMWVs, it is designed to provide the same levels of protection as the larger and heavier previous AMRAPs, but with improved mobile features as necessary. The MATV combines a plaza-designed armored hull, developed for the Northrop Grumman Oshkosh JLTV Technology Development Phase proposal with some elements of the Medium Tactical Vehicle Replacement MTVR chassis into Oshkosh's TAC-4 suspension system. TAC-4 suspension is coil-sprung and fully independent, and offers 16 inches of amazing wheel travel. For survivability, and in addition to the V-shaped hull which is optimized for IED protection, other aids include the ability to take a 7.62mm round to the engine, oil slash coolant slash hydraulic system, and still continue to drive for at least half a mile. The engine compartment is also protected with the STAT-X engine fire suppression system, and there's a central tire inflation system, or CTIS, and run flat inserts allow the MATV to travel at least 30 miles at 30 miles per hour, even if two tires lose their pressure. <laughs> wow. The MATV also features a traction control system and anti-lock brakes. Another feature is that the armament is roof-mounted and can be either manually or remotely operated. Manual options include the M240 machine gun, an MK19 grenade launcher, an M2 Browning machine gun, a Milan anti-tank guided missile, or a BGM-71 tow anti-tank guided missile launcher. Remote option is usually the Crows, common remotely operated weapon station. However, Oshkosh has also fitted for demonstration purposes the R400S Mark II, a three-axis stabilized remote weapon station. Other MATV features include a HVAC system and power outlets for charging portable electronic devices. The MATV is also very unique among AMRAP type designs in that the rear doors are also the so-called suicide type. Wow, this makes it to our number three spot in our countdown today. Number 2. Our number 2 spot wins today's best pick, which was sent in by Talia Woodcroft. So, thanks, Talia. This amazing vehicle is used in the military as well. It's called the M939, and it's a 5 ton multi purpose military truck. This awesome truck was designed in the late 1970s originally, with newer models coming to the fore in the 90s. It has a speed of 55 miles per hour. The M939 truck is a 5 ton 6x6 military heavy truck. The basic cargo versions were designed to transport a whopping 10,000 pounds of cargo of load over all terrain and all weather. Designed to replace the M39 and M809 series of trucks, it has been in service ever since. The M939 evolved into its own family of cargo trucks, dump trucks, semi-tractors, vans, wreckers, and bare chassis slash cabs for specialty bodies, and a total of 44,590 in all were produced. Actually, all models of the M939 share a basic common chassis cab, hood, and fenders. The basic truck is a 6x6 vehicle with three axles and six wheels, all of which are powered by the heavy truck. Early M939s were rebuilds of the M809 vehicle chassis with a new automatic transmission, transfer cases, cab, and hood. Suffix A2 are new production with the later model Cummins engine. The vehicles have a wide variety of configurations and weights. Used by various countries today including the US, Colombia, Argentina, Egypt, Iraq, Indonesia, Saudi Arabia, Lebanon, Turkey, Philippines, and Taiwan. Thanks Talia, we truly love this multi-purpose 6x6. <laughs> I saved the best for last, but first I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. The 2019 Tesla Model S is the latest in vehicle luxury. It makes it to our number one spot because it has so many appealing features which make it technologically savvy and unique in its own right. The amazing model is luxurious and features an electric engine, surpassing the need to work with fossil fuels, and having a 12-hour charge window too. Other technology features and specifications include daytime running lights, engine immobilizer, anti-theft alarm system, tire pressure monitoring, pre-collision safety system, four-wheel ABS, and wait, there's still so much more. So, then there's front and rear head airbags, brake assist, adaptive headlights, dusk sensing headlamps. Are you impressed yet? Well, there's more, so let's keep going. Blind spot and lane departure warnings, accident avoidance system, 
and then some of our personal faves, which are for entertainment purposes. <laughs> Ready? Good. These are satellite radio in real time, USB connectivity, subwoofer, climate control, and audio controls on the steering wheel. We just love this. Some of the added comforts of the Tesla Model S are the leather and steering wheel heating and the interior air filtration system. <laughs> wow. We can't believe this amazing vehicle. It's so unbelievably well made for ease of use and looks so blissfully comfortable. It is truly a technological marvel too. It takes our number one spot in the countdown and we want one already, <laughs> don't you? Oh, and do we mention the heated mirrors? Hands-free entry and the reverse tilt dual mirrors which provides a curbed view when the vehicle is in reverse? Yeah, we love this one with all of our heart. Sorry mom, can't help it, it's just too good. Whew, these vehicles are absolutely amazing. Some of the wicked technologies really knock them out of the park, too. Do you know of any spectacular vehicles which have amazing technologies that are exceptional? We invite you to comment below so we can hear about your faves. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, too. So that way your family and friends can enjoy our videos as well. Hit the bell to receive notifications so you'll never miss one of our awesome videos. And until next time, people, we'll see you then. Have an awesome day or night or wherever you are in this amazing and beautiful world. Bye for now.